Hey, what's up guys? Brad with Squared Away Every Day, and today we are gonna be talking about is the Tesla Model Y Plaid variant on the horizon? If so, get super excited. If not, the Model Y Performance is still a great vehicle. If you like this kind of content, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and let's hop into it. All right, so as everybody knows, the talk of the town in 2022 for Tesla, specifically regarding the Model Y, is the new 4680 battery pack that's coming out. So everybody's wondering, what increased features in terms of range and performance are we going to see out of these new 4680 battery Model Ys? Now, I've already made a video about this, kind of, when we talked about what you can expect from the 4680 launch initially. Go ahead and look at that video up here. And a lot of that video is based off of stuff that I've gotten from Tesla employees, and so it is, fairly well grounded in reality, let's just say. Now, piggybacking off of that video, essentially I'll just catch you up very quickly. In that video I talk about the launch of the Model Y essentially is gonna look very similar, when we're talking the 4680 variant, it's gonna look very similar to the already existing specs on the Model Y. Now why is that? Well, because essentially the 4680 battery pack, it's gonna take less of those batteries to actually match the current performance in the current range of either the long range or the performance. And so what they're going to do initially is they're gonna launch the 4680 uh, battery pack variant and the battery pack is not going to be maxed out. So the new structural battery pack frame thing that's going on with the 4680s, they're not gonna just squeeze every battery into that. They're gonna just put enough in there to make sure that you're matching the current range on either the long range or the performance, whatever you're getting and they're going to throttle back the performance with just software to make sure that you're not going any faster than what this particular car is rated at. Then, what I believe is going to happen is we're gonna see some sort of, um, <clears throat> Well, first of all, I think we're gonna to continue to see price increases on the Model Y throughout 2022 to eventually get up to maybe an $85,000 or $90,000 variant of the Model Y. I don't know if that's going to be like a Model Y Performance Plus. Maybe it'll be a Model Y Plaid, possibly. It seems like maybe they're reserving the Model Y Plaid name or designation for the higher end models like the uh, Model S and the X, I don't really know, but we could see a version of the Model Y come out very, very soon that is designated as a uh, Performance Plus or a Model Y Plaid or a Model Y Plaid Plus. Something along those lines to where they max out the, the new structural battery pack. They put every 4680 battery in there that they can fit. And essentially what that's going to do is it's going to already the battery pack weight is reduced in the 4680s compared to the 2170. So we have reduced weight, we've got more power, and so I think there's a very good chance we could see a Model Y Performance Plus or a Model Y Plaid or a Plaid Plus, something like that to where we've got a crazy amount of range and we've got even more speed and performance out of the car. And I think that is highly likely. Why wouldn't Tesla do that? We already know that Tesla does prefer to put out their performance vehicles over just the standard range or the long range vehicles, and that's because it doesn't cost them much more money to go ahead and unlock the software to make that car quicker and so the margins are much much higher on those cars versus just the standard range in the long range vehicle so i think the likelihood of getting a model y plaid or a performance plus or something like that is super high and if so you should be really excited in my personal opinion i think the model y performance is the best valued vehicle hands down, not just EVs. I think it's the best valued vehicle, hands down. So if we see a Model Y Plaid or a Model Y Performance Plus, oh, you just wait, it's gonna be so awesome. So $85,000, $90,000, that's my prediction for what the new Plaid or Plaid Plus or Performance or Performance Plus is going to be. That's just my guess. And so we'll have to see, only time will tell. If you like this kind of content, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and we'll see you in the next one.